Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to Dune Spice Wars. Today, my friends, we're going to be taking a break from our oil baths and our technology and we're going to be playing the Fremen, so it should be fun. This is really my first game playing Fremen since the update, so uh, going to be learning a lot of their new schemes. All right, so let's go scouting and certainly going to be going a little bit more military focused here. Obviously, with the Fremen, um, we don't need to take the spice field, but we want to see what the village trade is. Ooh, Handyman is a really, really good trait, so maybe we do grab that one, but I think we want to get, like, a Plascree out of the gates. Let's go ahead and get a couple more Warriors, and um, also we should probably cancel one of these and then get our Spice Harvester. Yeah, there you go. All right, so let's keep scouting. Let's see what village traits we could find. We're going to have a second Ornithopter here in a second, and um, let's see what village traits we get here. So that is going to be Economy Building, and the water there is three. We actually have five water here, too. I think I might just take this Spice Village. Uh, just because the handyman trade is, is quite good. Getting the 40% cost reduction on buildings is really nice for like pushing in the beginning and getting an early special building. So um, let's talk about the Fremen a little bit, okay? And uh, do we want to get one of these? Uh, we can get a little skirmish reaction. So we have uh, Stilgar. So he's been reworked. Yeah, five water here in handyman I think is a little bit too good to pass up on. I think we got to do it. We do have a Plascrete village up here, so we go grab that next. And we should be laughing all the way to the bank. All right. So Fremen, obviously, they don't build the spice in the same way. Um, let's go ahead and get a... We want to get the early water. Let's just get the Plascrete just so we can like build up a little bit. And let's get our Ornithopter scouting about. And once we have a moment of calm here, I'm going to start off by getting the um, Fremen Solidarity. That's going to immediately give us relations with all the sieges. And then we'll do composite materials. And um, we'll decide. I think Freedom Fighters is going to be good to get early as well. All right, so we've got three of these bad boys. Looking good. We are going to be pillaging as well. And then we get this Plascrete village, and I think that's going to be our first two villages. All right, so we got Stilgar. He reveals all the sieges at the beginning of the game on the entire map. Now, why that's really good is because Fremen can actually teleport to sieges. Not teleport, but they can set them as their rally points if they're your ally. So if you want to backdoor somebody's base, for example, um, you, can, you can set your rally point there. It's super, super cool. So we're going to be trying to do that for sure. And on top of that, um, the sieges now, they just give you a main base building. So, like, the you know, buildings that you get in your main base normally for other factions, uh, sieges provide those. So, pretty radical, man. Pretty radical. And our other character is going to be Jamis. You get 50 authority upon liberating enemy villages, which is really good for hedge victory pushes. And military units outside your territory get 10% damage. And you can trade authority for manpower in the late game if you want to just kind of sauce up your army. So, it's kind of like the Vernius Counselor, where it lets you trade knowledge for intel. But just the Fremen variant. All right. So let's get a little bit of Plasteel here, and um, which one gives us Maintenance Center is Fremen? Yeah, it's going to be Composite Materials. All right. So let's do some scouting. What do we have up here? We have the Sandfall. That's an okay one. I mean, we could do a we could do that to get the early Fidekin. But now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of pillaging on villages that just kind of suck, and we're going to explore all these sieges. Okay, so that gives us per uh, active treaty. So we want to see like what traits we want. You see the color? That will give us uh, Statecraft Buildings if we ally that siege. And this one is going to give us, what, 2% per special region. That's not bad. Um, this one's going to be giving us uh, all villages produce 10% more. Uh, this one is going to be giving us military. Uh, militia gain 50% health, and they can build a military building. Okay. Uh, I like this one, the two agents and knowledge. Those are both really good. So we're going to go for that. So you can ally those sieges like, or begin the process like really early in the game, which is super cool. But it does cost water, right? So you need to be a little bit cautious with how you do that. All right, so let's get the H2O built here to make sure we have the uh, water going. And we're going to get you assigned to Arrakis. And we're going to see who our neighbors are sooner than later and get aggressive, of course. So we'll expand to the north on Sandfall. We don't see a second spice field yet. I need to get the technology that reveals Arrakis' secrets. This reveals all the spice fields, and then we can get really popping off there. All right. So we got the fuel cells here and scientists, which is pretty good. So I think we could take that as our next village here. Uh, although the Sandfall will give us more hedge and it does have five water too. That's 96 to get that. So let's continue pillaging a little bit first. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. We need to keep evaluating the sieges too. All right, so we got a couple things we can grab. So let's get the free technology. Uh, I think Fremen really probably shine in aggression, I would guess. I don't really know. This is kind of my first time jamming them in a long, long time since the update. Um, unit recruitment time is pretty good here. The training ground. So we're going to go ahead and get that. Yeah, 30% recruit time is going to be really nice. And this one gives us plus four knowledge as well. So, yeah, we're going pretty hard on the alliances, but I think we'll be okay. I think we have some good water regions. This region actually has five water, too, which makes me think I should take it, but this one does have five water as well. So we're just going to go down and, okay, we have another spice field here. It does require manpower, so we need to get some manpower buildings going. So that's per statecraft building, um, and then also the other trait is going to be this, but I need to get manpower with Fremen so I can get my harvesters online. And then here we can go ahead and get a... Uh, 
a building as well that's going to give us those same resources. All right, so we're going to go raid this village. Our water is a little bit low right now, but I think we should be able to make it. The Fremen, you know, they have good water discipline, right? They're supposed to at least. And um, we haven't discovered, I think we have Atreides down here. Bullying Atreides could for sure be good, because if you let them get late game, they're, they're going to give you the business. So we might want to do that. Um, let's talk about our players as well. All right, so we're going to hit the village. So we do have uh, Hybrids Unite on Duke Leto. Uh, the Post Salesman's going to be on the Harkonnen. And then we do have uh, Ula on the Padishah Emperor, who's definitely a good target to attack as well early. Um, yeah, I kind of like that I can like pop out of these sieges. That's really, really fun. That's a really, really cool mechanic. Oh, we're cutting it a little bit close here, aren't we? Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. I don't think we'll lose anybody because the pillage will give us supplies back. But we definitely got a little bit crunk there. That was a little dodgy. And then we'll come back and get this uh, this special territory up here, which is good because if we can get to 10k hedge before some of the players, that's going to give us uh, Fidekin, right? Which are just super good. All right, so that should be enough supplies to get back to the base. Let's get Freedom Fighters. This gives us Solari per existing neutral village or Fremen village. So it's a really, really nice income boost for going like wide. We're going to go Rackus. Obviously, expansion is going to be our play. And um, yeah, we're going to now have two manpower buildings. Okay. We could get a spice harvester here, a spice silo. I, I'm i testing. As, so this is my real first time going through with Fremen <clears throat> since the update. So take everything I say with a grain of salt is essentially what I'm trying to tell you. All right. So we need to get another harvester out. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's going to cost 600. Okay. And we can grab this. It's going to be a little bit of free money. Might as well. We have the free technology being researched down here. So let's grab that. And what that end up giving us? Uh, give us Chome integration. Okay. I feel like Fremen can do eco too. Okay. So we see all the spice fields now. Great. So we see them and we can secure at least a couple of them. The Atreides, we're definitely going to liberate this village early. Um, once I get some military. Yeah, I need to get that early military tech. All right. So we don't really have too much influence at this point. That's for sure. Uh, lose Landsrad standing, so we're gonna just try and shoehorn this one through and see if that can happen, because that'll be really, really nice. Although, private mandate, the Harkonnens, the Harkonnens are gonna get that. You know, I'm not gonna get this. Uh, let's review the technologies. So, Sand Diplomats, each allied siege grants plus one influence production. That's pretty damn good. I think I gotta get that one early so I can start playing that. And then we need to go into military tech. So, we're gonna get Freedom Fighters. Um, it's gonna be a while before we get Sand Diplomats. So let's try and just put them down in Landsrad with my 30 votes. I mean, it could make the difference, right? So we get the Freedom Fighters, and then we just go into Red Tree. Sky Gazing gives us damage from air units. We don't need to worry about that yet. So we go Desert Trekkers, which gives us water and um, recruitment initiatives. Yeah, that's going to be the play. All right. So yeah, the Sieges are rolling. This one is going to give us a proactive treaty. And again, it's not, this, not the best. Not the best. And we get that. So let's head up here and grab that. This is a rare mineral region, so it'll be a nice little boost to our economy as well. Let's grab this, get that, and um, yeah, man, I can see the Fremen being really good. Like, if you're somebody who knows them well, but they seem uh, pretty complicated, like the depth of strategy and like all the sieges you have to kind of choose from and uh, how that dictates the game. But Atreides are going to be our first target. We're going to liberate that. That'll give us, uh, you know, the ability to expand faster because with Jamis, we're going to get the... Uh, Authority when we liberate the enemy village, which is great. Uh, we don't have supply drops here yet. All right, let's just clear all you guys out. You, you, and you. Yeah, it's, it's weird. I've been playing so much Vernius. I'm so used to my soldiers just being terrible and like dying to the first mobs in the beginning. So this is this is certainly a bit of an interesting uh, change of pace. We should refund that. Let's get a harvester team and get another spice field going. And uh, we'll definitely fight for our spice fields. We definitely will. Let's go ahead and sell a little bit more spice to bring this together. And the maintenance center there is going to be pretty big. Let's take that. All right, so yeah, we get this spice field down here. We need to grab some of these freebies laying around. So let's grab that for the free manpower. And um, it looks like we have more money we can get over there. This is going to be a five water region. Maintenance center is about to finish. This is pretty close to our base, so we don't really need to build militia in that, which is nice. And this is going to put us up in a hedge. Pretty solid. All right. So rally point. I love the new... Oh, wait. So with Fremen, you could just rally point to any of your villages, huh? Is that how that works? We'll have to see. Uh, not in supply range. Okay, we'll have to see how that works with the Fremen in this game. We're going to explore that together. All right, let's go down here and grab this. We're going to pull back here. Let's go ahead and get H2O very quickly. Statecraft and resources from uh, pillaging. Okay, and then we got a little bit of Plasteel here. Let's grab that. Plasteel is pretty good because the early sieges that we're trading with are giving us quite a bit. Okay, so we got a little bit of a raid coming here. Hidden tracking. Allied units in the region get stealth. Oh, that's really cool, and it like slows down enemies as well. That's a, that's a, that's a fun tech. So we're going to get on this. All right. So we couldn't do some manpower. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get an ornithopter flying up there to explore that. And let's come down here and explore this too. If we can get like three or four harvesters out early, I feel like that's going to be pretty good. And now we're getting into military tech. Let's go ahead and get you on the spacing guild. 
which is going to start giving us some manpower and um cool so now we got 47 this is 59 that one does have scientists which i really really like scientist is a great trait to get and um that, this one's kind of far away so we should definitely build some militia to defend that we got free manpower here and we can build another harvester to come down there so he's going to waddle down this way it's going to be a little bit of a journey but once this water finishes here we should be fine all right so the siege is friendly so let's make an alliance and um i believe it costs yeah that costs a little bit but two friendly fremen sibling agents that's really good so like right now we just get two agents which is great so we can assign those and uh yeah just benefit from that and then what else does that place do so now we can build yeah once we get enough we can build a main base there yeah, cool. And then the Fremen building. Okay, nothing else. And it is giving us knowledge as well, so that's why we're at seven knowledge. It's kind of cute. All right, so let's go take this village, and then we're going to go attack the Atreides after that. Because by that time, we should have enough uh, for our army up armory upgrades. Let's see. So what do we need for tier two? Stalwart Alliance is... Maybe we wait for the Stalwart Alliance, because is this Siege allied with us? Um, let's go ahead and trade with that Siege, because I know they'll, they'll, they'll assist you on your raids. So you see, that's like a whole other element of the Fremen too, is you need to like work on your alliances with sieges in terms of coordinating attacks because this one if i'm able to ally it right once we get them up he yeah, has it going it should be yeah we just we should have started that one earlier but i didn't know he was going to expand there so uh and then we can get stalwart alliance after that and that's going to give us the okay so that's my ally and then this is my ally now too which is going to give us recruitment time and we can build military buildings there awesome so we're still at six water which is unfortunate i'm being really really greedy with that get this let's get that and we can get a couple more troopers uh, let's get a skirmisher and infiltrators let's go and look at the tech now so okay 100 health but they take one more water that's a pretty good upgrade if you have a lot of excess water and um damage received in owned or neutral territory from range attacks and uh minus 10 percent damage received per enemy unit at close range oh that minus 30 percent damage is pretty good let's go ahead and get that because there's there's certainly going to be a couple right so here, um, let's see. So this cave will just give us 5% military power. So I think I say we slap that down, like right now. And let's go ahead and get another one of these. And we did make it there, just barely. Oh my god, he barely made that. So that's going to help our eco a little bit. But we're going more into military now. We need to you know, continue pillaging here to uh, keep our economy afloat. Okay, not in supply range. I'm going to have to figure out how this reinforcement thing works with Fremen. Yeah, it's my, uh, it's, my, it's my trial process here. So this is at 65. It is climbing. And when I get that, how, what you can do is you can use the Stalwart Alliance. And I can set a rally point there too. So I can like rally my units at allied sieges, right? So yeah, I see I can rally units there and I can rally units wherever I have a siege. I love that mechanic. I think it's super flavorful and super fun. All right. So, oh, that's the Labithopter. Oh, it's for a special mission. Okay. I was like looking at thing, that thing. I was like, what is, it? what is this strange ornithopter? All right. We're going to fly around and just kind of explore all the shadows here. And it does give you a lot of vision of the map too, right? Which I really like. Yeah, certainly, certainly a faction I'm eager to learn. So the main base building, let's go ahead and start the military. We're going to get the recruitment center. Uh, that's going to give us just manpower. And then um, we can pillage this base too. This base kind of low-key sucks. We need to get supply drops. I need to get some agents on intel. It's certainly hard to get the intel, isn't it? So let's get you off Chome and then just put you on um, the Atreides for now. That's going to give us plus three, which hopefully can at least give us a supply drop at some point, right? All right, so for you guys, we want to get damage radius. Uh, cannot be seen outside of combat against non-mechanical units. Let's try the damage radius one, the scatter grenades. Seems like, I mean, AoE is a really strong mechanic. I know it has been nerfed, but, you know, maybe it's going to be really good. Who knows? All right, so we'll get... Do we have a spice harvester up here? We do. Are we working that spice field? We are not, but we will be soon. So let's get another spice team, and they can run over and get that. The main base building is going well. Um, you can pillage this, although it does have the handyman trait, which is really, really good. We're at 85 now, and how close are we to getting the Siege Allied? 74, and um, we'll wait for a Stalwart Alliance, and that's going to be our timing of when we push. We'll go uh, raid this base up north. This one seems pretty good to uh, take down here. All right, so next up, we do have um, Statecraft Building Productions. So we can get a little bit of knowledge here. And let's look at some of the other Fremen tech. So Sand Diplomats share 10 sentences for the Ceremonial Caves, which isn't bad. And obviously, I don't really have too many votes. But at some point, you can skyrocket pretty hard as a Fremen. Let's take the Free Military tech. And yeah, we're going to give the business to this Atreides base, I think. Uh, we're at least going to pillage it and do some work there. So up here and up here. All right, there you go. It does take a ton of water to be homies with the sieges right now. Let's get you and go on Intel. We're going to put you on the Harkonnens. Outstanding. And uh, is there anything I want to vote for? Harkonnen Taint. And then, um, I mean, really, we're just going to try and weasel this out and see if we can. Although, let's just save our votes, yeah, for something that's more pertinent later on that's really going to be affecting the game overall. 
All right, so the Stalwart Alliance, during liberation of an enemy village, nearby ally can send a supporting raid. Okay, that's brutal. Like, if we get that and there's a siege there, he's definitely going to lose that territory. And that's going to give us uh, some really, really good means to expand. All right, so we're on four spice fields, which is cool. So once we finish this, uh, local dialect studies. Let's see, that's per control deep desert. And then desert wisdom gives us wind traps. 0.1 knowledge per level of wind strength in the region. That's okay. That's probably a better one to get later to really skyrocket. And we can go ahead and start getting scientists down here. All right, let's get you, although you're next to the main base, it's fine. And we're going to raid this, pull you back a little bit. All right, let's go, buddy. And soon we'll be striking once the Stalwart Alliance is ready. We're at 80 right now. This tech is being researched. We got two research posts coming up, which is going to hurt our economy a little bit, for sure. I love that Fremen can play Chom. The, the Chomk is going really hard on the Chom. Oh, my God, he's going really, really hard in the paint. We got the Desolation over there. That's kind of nice. It actually blocks us off from the enemy, so we don't need to worry about like being attacked in that angle, which I certainly like. Pillage that, and um, now we got 71 authority. Stilgar has given us all the good siege play, and the Labathopter is it still going strong? It is. It's flying over Carthag right now, which I don't like because it's going to eat missile turrets. So let's go over here and get away from those guys. Come down here, and um, the Baron. Okay, so the Baron is over here. Do we have any sieges near him? Not really. The Atreides have this one right here, so we're definitely going to hit that um, and try and bully a little bit. We got four harvesters right now, so let's go ahead and get the spice. Uh, crews gathering a little bit harder on those. Very nice. And we got free military tech. That's looking good. We got 1.5k. And um, okay, so that is definitely a declaration of war to an extent. Uh, is he harvesting that? He is. Okay, so we need to get you back. Oh, he's running through the deep desert shit. He's probably gonna die. Okay, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, so we know we know what we're going after here, guys. I don't think this harvester is going to make it back, which is a shame, but it is what it is. Let's clear these guys out. Now we have another main base building. Let's go ahead and get the um, the barracks. Yeah, we're going to get the barracks here. And we can build main base buildings on our sieges too, but we need to get aggressive here because this uh, this is not going to be not going to be great. I don't think he's going to make it. That's a shame. So we do lose that. That's a fair amount of money, right? Fair amount of money. All right. So how are we looking here? 90. So we're very, very close to our raiding time. Um, do we want to hit this? Oh, we just barely made it. What a Chad. He wanted to live. All right, we can send him over here now and just relocate that. Oh, it looks like he maybe ended up dying. That's a shame. All right, so water is kind of low. So let's go ahead and get another. Um, we can get a little H2O here, and then we can finish off these scientists. Our knowledge is pretty good, and let's go ahead and keep building up military, although manpower is a little bit low at this moment. Let's try one infiltrator. Yeah, let's try one of those out, see how they mix in. And we can go ahead and get the uh, supply drop so we can raid more efficiently. Up here, um, other traits we want to get, probably a little bit more manpower. Yeah, hopefully the aggression pays off. So Stalwart Alliance is ready. And um, from here, this is the worm riding thing, uh, which is cool, but I don't know how good that's going to be. We can go ahead and get the um, yeah, Chome integration is going to be nice, but let's get the influence and the agent recruit speed, and then we can go into eco because we have good enough military for now, I would say. It's, it's going to be fine. All right, we'll get another skirmisher, and that looks like it's coming together nicely. We have 100 authority right now. So we could take this spice field down here. It does have the handyman trait, which is going to allow us to get some nice stuff. Uh, aside from that, I mean, is there anything super useful here? Not really, but yeah, the Atreides are definitely going to be our, our foes for now, and we could get our butts kicked pretty hard, but I think that the fact that we have the Siege that's going to help us there is really brutal. That'll give us 2% per. All right, so we got the Skirmisher units. Let's pull them back, do a little bit of AoE damage, and now we need to ally this guy. Great, so we got an alliance. We only have three water, though, so it's a good thing we have that supply drop, and we'll take this and build some H2 on this region as well. All right, so that's finishing in a second. We have so much Plascrete. Yeah, I feel like with Verdians, I never have enough Plascrete, but with these guys, I do. All right, so the old Freemen are continuing to expand. So that Siege is friendly, this Siege is friendly, and this Siege is friendly too. All right, we're going to take this, and now we're going to begin our raids, which should be fun. Okay, we're back up to nine water. Definitely need to get the recycling vats. Um, yeah, we definitely need to get that at some point. I think we can just build that in one of our Sieges. We have a siege that has the eco thing and let's trade a little bit more spice in so we stay in the positive here and now we're going to go liberate a village all right so that's ours and cool so here let's get water out of the gates we get some heavies here and um we can actually get more military units too so let's actually just build one heavy here for now and um we can get a fidekin now so fidekin are really quite powerful but they're going to tank our economy a bit i think it's worth barracks is coming out this is going to be a pretty brutal push um once we hit the atreides here he could lady jessica us which would be unfortunate but, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, the Labathopter, has it explored all the regions? Let's see. Okay. So there might be another special region up here. You know, we have the Sardaukar here, too. 
Yeah, it looks like they're chilling out, and we can go ahead and get another one of these. Once the Fideikin finishes is when Shai Halud is going to launch his attack here. The dreaded 19 income, it's it's the plays. So Sand Diplomats is going to give us, you see we got plus 5 um, knowledge. Not knowledge right now, excuse me, but plus 5 on that. Um, here, this is going to give us per economy building. Let's just get water here, and here we have the Handyman trait. So what do we want to get here? Yeah, Research Station, probably recycling plants is going to be a priority, I would say. Definitely going to be important. Let's do any pillaging. We don't have any pillaging. We now have Fidekin. So we need to like hard sell spice right now to not go in the red. Come on. Really? Are we that are we that broke? The Fidekin's that expensive, huh? We have enough to pay our taxes for this cycle, so let's just let's just pillage this and then we're gonna get over there and attack. Okay, looks like he was getting raided. The Atreides militia get very, very scary. Uh what does he have here? Oh, he's actually got his full army here. Okay. So we're gonna run here, do this, and we're gonna go ahead and grab the Thumper. Let's go up into the sands and we'll do the thumper. Uh oh, please don't lag while I'm like running out of water. And uh, we're gonna go, yeah, he's running unfortunately. Oh well, we're gonna go there and party anyways. Let's see how this goes. And here we go, so we're there. I think we win the fight, I mean, I don't know. We can do a rally point to the siege, which I love. So we're gonna get some warriors popping out there to reinforce. And Shai Halud Express is on, uh, on full bore ahead. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this down, do a supply drop here. And hopefully the Atreides won't get back in time. And I believe we have our second slot as well. So we're going to go ahead and do the... Um, yeah, we could do that one. And for you guys, we can do non-mechanical damage. All right, so he's coming to party. I don't know how it's going to go. Let's go ahead and start liberating this. All right, so we're going to liberate that. And now we have the allies coming. And we have this infiltrator. He got away, which is great. Yeah, look at the, the allied raid we get from the siege. How cool is that? That's really nice. All right, so let's micro you back. And um, just kind of keep bashing down these frontliners. Okay, I think it's going pretty well. His units are such raid bosses, though. Even, like, these baseline ones are very, very strong. I don't know how it's going to go. Um, yeah, we have, like, 109 votes. We don't really have too much say in any of this. Are we going to win this fight? What are these? Are these, like, champions? Oh, they're wardens. Oh, he's already got wardens and stuff. Okay, so the Fidekin, we need to tie down his range units. So let's get one of you here and one of you here. Kind of nice that we could use that time to, like, pause and whatnot. Um... All factions suffer that, so let's go ahead and decline that with like 50 votes and just call it a day. And you, buddy, can get back. And um, we're going to have two warriors popping out, which is basically going to win this fight for us, yeah. I don't think he's going to be able to do much about that. So we'll get that infiltrator back, get you up here, have you finish this off. And now he's under a lot of pressure. This is not going to be easy. And if we liberate this, that's a pretty good setback for the old Atreides. Not lore friendly. Uh, not, not doing lore friendly, that's for sure. Uh, okay, so we're gonna start fighting again. All right, so let's get this. We got a couple range units. Let's go tag these guys. And now it's basically gonna be a mass route. And if he runs, we can chase down quite a few. All right, let's micro you back. Nice, great. And you can see he's taking a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and chase and kill as much as we can. We got three warriors chasing here. And um, will it keep capturing if it's just my guys here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, we need to have you hold position. And yeah, we're beating down quite a bit of the Atreides army. We, de we definitely should keep chasing them and kill as much as we can. All right, so we got those guys. Are we going to get those characters? A trooper is getting it. Let's get this warden. <laughs> that main base hurts, though, but the Fidekin wants blood. We got to kill as much as we can. You know, we got to kill as much as we can. All right, so how are we looking here? Yeah, it's one down, and a chase, and then the Fremen need to run back up here so we don't run out of supplies, and you guys run up so we don't run out of supplies. All right. So we just wiped his whole military. That's probably going to set him back to the point where he won't be able to fight us. Let's get on Landsrad. And then from here, we could just pillage his territories, which are really is really good for us, because that's going to give us access to um, a ton of stuff, just tons of stuff. All right, let's get some more fighters here. We're at 0.5. Oof, God, dude, it's so bad. Uh, it's going to cost 519. We can't even buy the spice here. Um, let's have you guys go collect the spice. We're going to go in the negative, dude. Oh, God, this is rough. Yeah, good old, good old uh, Fremen economy. Certainly something to get used to. Let's just make an eco building here. Screw it. Uh, in the meantime, we can just go ahead and torch these buildings. How can we get back in the positive? This is going to give us enough spice to pay our taxes, I believe. Yeah, it will. We're losing a little bit in the spice, spice stockpile. Um, so let's do that so at least we're not losing spice. And we liberate this. And then we just peace out and go start pillaging again to fix our economy. I think that's just how you have to do it. Chum integration's coming. And um, we should have enough to slap some on our harvesters and slap some on our harvesters here. And yeah, that should help a little bit. Okay, so what does it mean if we're at a deficit? We just lose knowledge? Okay, so we lose knowledge while that's happening. It's fine. We're about to get this, though, and that's a pretty nice little grab for us. Yeah, the Fidekin lived. Um, he's really expensive. I think we can even disband him. Yeah, I think we can. 
Uh, maybe. We could just send him to his doom here. He can go go out on his shield. Go chasing the Atreides. His upkeep's super expensive. The other 20 upkeep, so that's what's really just tanking my economy right now. So we need to liberate this. That's going to give us a lot of knowledge. And let's collect this so we can pay our spice tax. And boom, we should be fine on the spice tax now. And that Fidekin, uh going down should help. All right, so we liberated that village. I don't know what these guys are. Some random militia. Okay. So that gave us 50 authority. And oh, he just took another base up here. Wow. So we could just go liberate this one now as well. He must have had that one being remote annex for quite some time. All right, so let's do shared transcendence. Okay, and let's go get this now. We have the supply drop, so we should be fine. Uh-oh, that base is being uh, harassed there too. We need to go up there and deal with that. All right, back you go, and let's do this. I, I don't know if this siege will send uh, a liberation force. Maybe they will. I definitely, the early aggression is a very fun play style. It's very fun. All right, we're back in the green, baby. We're back in the green. All right. Yeah, I mean, we have a huge military, right? And we're like, have siege alliances and all sorts of nasty stuff going on. So um, I don't think he's going to come. I think we're going to get to liberate all these. And let's go ahead and liberate that. So it does give me money and I get a supporting raid, which is pretty fat. So on that note, let's let the supplies replenish. And then you guys can go pillage this. Although, do we want to take that and expand outward? Uh, is he forcing peace on me? He is. All right. I could just say, what do I get? Lose influence and chum penalty. Uh, yeah, we don't care about that. We're gonna just we're just gonna liberate it, because this penalty is like whatever. We lose a little bit of influence, boohoo. You know it's fine. Fremen don't really care too much about that. His army's so weak too at this point that I don't think it really matters. So we get that, and um, let's come down here and plan how we want to expand. So we got spice going here. Um, I need to get that spice field back, and this one is what the Great Volcano. That's actually a really good one. So we're gonna take all this and do that. Um, we are gonna pay our taxes, which is good. It's only gonna last what 18 days. Yeah, should be fine. All right, let's get a couple heavies in here to defend our far away territories. And um, yeah, that, I, I kind of like that I could just like ignore Lady Jessica and just be like, no, <laughs> not going to happen. All right, let's get this missile turret down. And that's going to give us another 50 authority, at which point we can expand pretty hard. The Atreides are definitely being kept in check. We might need to go do a little something something to Carino. I don't want them to get too comfortable. And it looks like his military might not be too big. Um, the, Ch the Chungus is choming very hard. So we might need to worry about that. Um, he is on the other side, but I can get a siege near him, right? Do I have any sieges over here? I do have this one. Uh, and alliance. Okay, I do have the alliance over there. He's probably going to raid that siege at some point, but I can pop out and attack the Baron over there. So That's something we'll consider doing. I'm staying here with most of my army in case he does counterattack, so I want to make sure I don't lose that. Let's go attack this. And um, most of the base regions need to be more developed. So down here, we need to get probably a maintenance center to make this all cheaper. Save a little bit of money. We're going to get 500 from liberating this. We get one Fidekin at no cost. Fidekin are so expensive, though, man. They, it really adds up, huh? Desolation providing a little bit of cover there. The problem is if I um, if I go after Ula here, if I go after the Padishah Emperor, uh, it's going to make the Harkonnens pretty much free to do whatever they want. I'm going to actually take this because I just have so much. Oh, no, that one had the pillage penalty on it. Yeah, so we're just going to pillage it again. And that's two Atreides territories in the can here. Um, that's great. So we won't attack them again until the traitor status wears off. Yeah, the Fremen don't care for your traditions. They don't. Yeah. But yeah, we could definitely kill the Atreides. I think we maybe liberate the spice field next, and then we can expand a little bit now. Uh, do we want to do this? So proactive treaty. So that's for statecraft buildings. Um, and we want to go ahead and get the Chome branch would be nice. Al-Gayib Temple, Max Influence. So that's the one you use for trying to go for like a governor victory for the Fremen. Tra shared Transcendence is there. Uh, we can go ahead and get the each each network grants you that. Is he going to try and assassinate me? I don't know. I'd be pretty shocked to get an Atreides assassination. That for sure would be a little bit funky. Come on, team. You can, you can make it back to the base. And then we head down here and capture this. All right. So parallel training. Worm riding is also very good. Um, local dialect studies. And Desert Wisdom at this point would be nice for a little bit of a knowledge boost, I think. I don't know. We'll find out. I have good manpower. And um, our harvesters, we got Chome Integration and Crew Training will give us two more and plus 20% spice production. Okay, so maybe we need to do that. Local Dialect Studies is nice, though, because it allows you to annex villages cheaper and you also get more water. So I think we're going to get that and then Crew Training. So we can eco a little bit. Now that we've kind of crippled one of our neighbors, um, we, can, we can chill out. We got 136 on the boats. Trader obviously hurts because we lose some, but that's going to come back. And let's see what sieges we want to homey up to now. This one's probably pretty good because um, it, it gives us money and militia health. But more importantly, it gives us a back door into their base here. So dear to the minor houses and um, 
that's probably going to get voted on me, although the Atreides are kind of hurting a little bit. We'll see. Let's see if we can get this on Atreides. I'm going to try it. Oh, no. We need to... Never mind. Oh, man. Okay. Can I get back? I hate that bug where you can't, like, unsummon that or unclick that. Okay. Well, whatever. It's fine. Uh, I was going to switch this to the Chonkonans. But, oh, it looks like it got supported anyway. So now the Baron isn't going to be able to buy Chome for a while. That's really good. And did that go on the Atreides? It did. Yeah. I did. It wasn't just me. The Harkonnens also nailed him with it. That's very unfortunate. For him, that's very unfortunate. For me, it's great. All right, let's come down here. Get this. We got a lot of influence from our liberation campaign. The people have been free so far of Arrakis. Uh, we're doing okay. You know, keeping everybody happy. And our dreaded army is, is moving together. Yeah, we got the mobile turret. We probably don't need that this early in the game, but we can research that tech in a bit of a pinch if we need to. Uh, chum buying price. Yeah, we don't care about that. That's great. And we have a lot of plasteel. So we just need to make some money to finish off our military district here. Yeah, the parallel training is quite good also. All right, so let's grab that. And um, next up, yeah, we hit this region, I think. Let's get the supply drop. And um, yeah, and then we just gather these guys. And they're, they're clearing that village out nicely up there. Let's pillage that. And then we can go all in on the military here and get that. And we can start building main base buildings. Um, yeah, this one does give you 10% slurry production. But I guess for Fremen, that's not as important. I don't know how good their economy is. I feel like they can play political victory pretty hard too. Um, but I, I'm just going to probably play for Hedge, a more simplistic play style today. Just while I'm learning them, right? So let's get heavies there so we don't have to worry about that. And down here, we're going to go ahead and get the... Um, so now we can take advantage of the handyman trade, right? So we can do this. We can get the uh, recycling plant. And then up here, we have handyman too. And um, we don't have enough money at the moment for that, but that's fine. Get some heavies. And um, how much water do we have here? We have three. The village traits are going to be military. Okay. And we can get the ceremonial caves. So that's going to be 10% military power, which is pretty bonkers. That's really, really good. So Trader has got five days. So he's got five days to chill out, and he can try and Lady Jessica me again. Uh, let me talk to the Carino player. Um, how is the Baron behaving? I'm keeping the Trades honest. We got to we got to get our scheming going, boys. You know the the Fremen the Fremen schemes. They scheme a little bit. You know there's some scheming in there in their in their ways. No Fidekin, but that's all right. Um, do we have any sieges down here that would help? Um, yeah, we do. Ooh, we're going to get help. How is the Baron behaving? I'm keeping Atreides honest. Yeah. Atreides are insanely strong. They're, I think they're considered Atreides, Carino, and Ekaz are considered to be the strongest factions in the game right now. That is the meta, the sweat. Um, do I want to get this? Oof, I don't think I could afford that, as nice as that is. Um, probably just like a spice field here for now, and we can switch that up later. And then here we can also get a spice field at some point. So we cut that and get a spice field there. All right, so we have another agent. We'll put him on the chome. And um, I think it's time to raid. Yeah, it's going to be, what, two days left on that? No problem. Water isn't the best, but it's not the worst. We're definitely going to get the recycling bats when we can. I would like to get that tier three military building. So let's just go on a little raiding tour in the middle and, you know, raid. Although I might want this to expand out. And I have pillaged it recently. We could, yeah, liberating is strong. We can take this spice field up north. We have a bit of authority. How much do we have? Do we have enough to actually take this? We do. Let's actually just go get that territory real quick, and then, yeah, we can we can push him there. Hey, we're in the positive financially, baby. Oh, oh, shit. I'm, I'm totally going to miss my spice tax. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Okay, let's see if we can, like, make it. Let's see if we can get there. Ooh, there's some spice leftovers. Okay, that's that's good. Let's look around for anything else like that and see if we're going to be able to make our spice tax. There might be some leftovers. Um, so we canceled this, and then we can go ahead and grab the spice leftovers. Is there any other spice leftovers? I don't think so. Our harvesters are going full bore. Crew training program will be up. And Desert Wisdom is going to be after that. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So we got this. Uh, we need water. So even in, I think, regions that have three, it's probably still worth getting. And we're going to get the uh, free spice that's lying around. I think we'll, with that, we'll barely make it. It's going to be kind of tight, but I think we will. Okay. And um, yes. As, as tempting as it is to pillage this, I want to control it so I can build a spice silo up there. And yep, that village is fully built out. And down here, we can start training a little bit of plasteel for ship parts, which is outstanding. So it's going to take forever, but eventually we'll be able to get the ship parts. And um, cool. So you guys head down here. We'll just leave one guy to hold this for now. Let's collect the spice and collect the spice. All right. So that just made it like potentially possible for us to make it here. Potentially. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. He's saying just me as emperor. I should just like appear on his doorstep now and just like take down like two territories. I love the role playing though. I like when people get into it. I think that's really fun. All right, let's grab some water here and uh, we'll get this. Okay, and then you come back here. And now it's time to raid the Atreides again. 
So we're going to go and give them a, a little bit of a, a you know, a welcome, welcome home party. Let's get the free intel. And are we going to make this? Uh, we're getting plus 61. Um, we still only have one, but once we do get the harvesters, yeah, we would like that field. This one is also very possible for us to work, but we're a little bit poor at the moment, so we can't really do too much about that. We could go on a little bit of a pillaging tour, but I think we'll hit the Atreides. Uh, you know what, let's, let's go pillaging out here. Our supplies aren't amazing, though. It could be a little bit dodgy out in the deep desert here. All right, so what does that give? I have materials. We'll grab that plascrete. Sure, why not? And down here, do we have a maintenance center? We do. Could get a missile turret. Um, probably a listening post is fine, although the problem is we're going to be liberating that territory, so I don't think a listening post is super good, actually. Uh, manpower seems to be adequate for now. What is the traits here for military building? Okay, so maybe we just get a manpower building here. Why the heck not? Um, this could be expanded on soon. Uh, as far as hedge goes, we are a contender. This is a recruitment office building, so let's go ahead and pillage that. I don't think it's going to matter too much. We need to get you back, and we got the free plast deal here. Looks like we did manage to pay our taxes, which is great, so now we can go back into the positive. And that tech is finished, so let's go ahead and get military tech, and um, yeah, we can get some of the worm techs and different things like that. It's pretty nice. All right, so pillaging time, and let's get our harvesters all geared out. Let's get help our economy as well, and look at that. Our eco's picking up, baby. It's picking up. All right, and that pillage is going to give us enough to probably get another harvesting caravan out here. Yeah, let's do that. And let's go pillage this so the Atreides can't expand that way. It will deny them. And um, it looks like Carino is going to be fighting the Baron. Okay, so I just need to keep the Atreides honest, and then we're okay. So Intel, what do I want to get possibly? Gear Sabotage, they still have that? I don't think they do. They must have changed that. Okay. Um, we could get the Worm Call. We could get Scavenger Teams is pretty good. All right, let's pillage that. We got our Siege nearby. And then we can go pillage this spice field too. Let's get our harvester out there to go work that. Oh, that's cool. He rallied to the siege. Oh, I forgot I had the rally point there. That's very cool. All right, so diplomatic congress. So that's kind of annoying. Because um, that's probably, if the Atreides win that, that's not good. Because then I'm not going to be able to attack them for a while. I'd have to break the uh, peace with them. I'm going to try and get the mandate, the pillaging mandate here. See if I can get that. My influence is finally back online. It's up to plus seven, so that's pretty good. All factions get that. Oh, so we just... I think that'll auto pass. I think Carino's going to force that one through. And um, I'm going to try and win this and just see if I can get it. Yeah, why not? Why not? I'm not doing much else with my votes. So any other sieges I want to be buddy buddy with? That one's my buddy. This one's my buddy. We got the one in the back here. Um, that one's my friend. And I think that was the one near the chonk base I was looking at before. Up here, this is going to give us 10% um, per. So let's trade that. And we can also consider, uh, okay, we don't quite have that one yet, but we will soon. All right, let's go here. You guys do a little bit of pillaging. Did I end up winning that? I don't. And who got that? The Atreides? Yeah, sons of guns. They got the non-aggression pact. How long till I can break that? It's going to be um, nine days. Okay, so another nine days. It's fine. We could just kind of party about. Oh, the emperor must have done it. Schemes upon schemes, yes. All right, so command post is really good. It's upkeep production for military units. Let's go ahead and pillage that. And then we're going to go pillage the middle as well. Yeah, the Fremen are pretty good at just running around the map and causing havoc. Uh, military base here is going to be really good. Yes, outstanding. And we got the spice field being worked, so let's get that one fully geared. I know if you go with Mother Romalo, you're actually able to um, you're actually able to do quite a bit in terms of the uh, uh, spice because she gives you two extra crew for your spice. But Jamis just seems really good, like military power, and um, yeah, it, it just seems super strong. All right, so let's pillage that, and then we'll go over there and pillage that as well. Try and get that economy popping off. If I could get a fifth Spice Harvester, that'd be pretty nice. Let's go ahead and grab this intel here while we can. Go up here. I don't want to pillage these regions more than once, though, because they're going to be part of my win con. Although I could just take the Atreides, but I think liberating is nice and then expanding elsewhere. Um, this one is going to be free to take in three days, so we'll get that. That's going to be our next kind of expansion here. And uh, that one is going to give us militia health, and we can also build a, a military building there, which I really like. That's super cool. But we're going to get that in the main district, which is going to give us 20% max uh, to our health, which is really quite good. Arrakis is, is our home. All right, how long until I can break this? Uh, it's five days? Okay, five days, and we have really good uh, production now because of all the allied sieges. Yes, yes. And here we probably just get the chome branch and the recycling vats, although, yeah, we can get the administrative hall in, inside one of our, uh, our sieges, right? This one is per active treaty. It's not super useful. And our water isn't amazing at this point, so we got to be careful with that. So 1.3 days, so we'll get that next. Let's go back and heal up our supplies. We have another agent. Um, counter intel might be necessary. I feel like we might want a little bit of counter intel here. 
Uh, an Atreides assassin, he could have infiltration cells on my border here. We're for sure going to take this. Um, that's going to go down quickly. I don't know how if he has the Atreides militia tech yet, but hopefully not. Um, okay, so we could build the training slots there. Let's go find um, these. Yeah, that's cool. So we can get the knowledge to the research center, but I'm going to save that for later. There's a trick with that. Um, this one is... Oh, do we not have an alliance farmed? Oh, we don't. Okay, so we get plus four knowledge here. We can get a statecraft building there. And this is going to be that. Okay, so got to keep track of all these sieges. And here we can go ahead and do the chome branch. Yeah, that's going to be our chome branch, which will give us a lot more spice gathering, right? Um, as far as this goes, can we afford some Fidekin now? We can, and we can also get a hero. Okay. So let's read these. Othheim is a renowned and fearsome Fremen fighter. Okay. So he... Ground units with the same kind. Ally ground units with no units of the same kind. A long range deal damage. Okay, I think we're going to go for Shawnee. Fremen stealth units that are not currently detected move faster. Hmm. Okay, let's like evaluate those real quick here. And this is done. Let's go ahead and get the recycling bats now. Now that we have the money to develop a little bit, we're going to. And then we're going to, once we pick our hero, we're going to attack here. Um, all right. So what else does she do? Ghost Army, and he gives the Confusing Assault. Ally ground units with no units of the same kind at long range deal. Okay, so it's kind of like a weird one. Ignores ally ground military units at long range attacks, deal 20% damage and take less damage. And then Chani, what does she give? Ground Gain 30% speed at short range from an enemy unit. So she's like about diving. Fremen stealth units that are not currently detected have 30% speed and do not attract sandworms. Cannot be seen outside of combat. And enemy units at long range give five intel on death. Oh, that's actually kind of useful. And then undetected stealth ally units at long range gain 100% power on the first attack for two days. Ambush. Oh, that sounds fun. So we'll get her, and then we're going to go ahead and get the skirmishers and try and take advantage of the ambush thing with them. And then we'll get the uh, stealth, the hidden tracks, right? I don't know. Let's let's try this out. We get a Fidekin for free, which is awesome. And now we have a pretty Chungus army. Like, I, I seriously doubt he's going to be able to stop me, but maybe. You never know. So Chum Branch is on its way. Let's go ahead and take this region just so we're being efficient with our resources. Um, we have eight water, but soon we're going to have a lot more. So we got that, plus the Chum Branch is coming. Unfortunately, Chani spawned out here. That's pretty funny. Looks like they maintain supplies there. And um, for the rally point, we could like, man, we could do some crazy raiding on the Atreides. We're going to try some wild shit. All right. So here she comes. And um, okay, so undetected stealth units at long range. Okay. And then, is there any, like, synergies with that I can get? Let's see. Cannot be seen outside of combat. Camouflage fabric. I think we could try that. And how does hers work? Undetected stealth ally units. Okay, so that's the combo then. So we get the stealth fabric. So we'll keep the splash damage one. And then we're going to go ahead and get the camouflage fabric. We're going to switch that. And, um, yeah, remembering to use Fenring is hard. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's definitely, uh, you know, takes a little bit of effort. So we're going to take this. So these guys are going to be stealth outside of combat. And then their first attack, if I use Shawnee correctly, the ambush should be uh, more powerful for two days, I believe, is how that would work. Yes. All right, so we're going to get some supplies here. And then we're going to worm across the desert. Uh, yeah, we should be able to worm down there and ambush them and everything. All right. I'm going to try and figure this out. Um, we can build a military building here. We can get the military academy, the training slots. Yeah, we can, we can I guess. Let's save a little bit of money first. And for you, um, this is going to have the Shai Hulud Temple. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Now, why? That's just one of our special buildings in general, huh? The Shai Hulud Temple. All right. All right, I like that. We don't need so much plasteel, although maybe we do. Um, let's go here and get ready to do some worm riding. So that's been developed. Uh, administrative Hall is pretty good. That one gives you a lot. And it looks like some raiders are coming. So we need to get back and uh, refresh our water stores before we attack. I think we could just worm here to here. I think that's safer than going into the desert. We trust you, all right, so we clear those bad boys out. The siege is um, four water for one manpower. We can start buddying up with all the sieges now. And we need to get the, um, the Al Gaib temple. We need to get that one. We will soon. We will soon. All right, so this big ass military is gonna party. Uh, we're, hopefully we'll use Shawnee correctly. Let's take the intel, which is a lost box. And uh, we're gonna have the, uh, is that finished yet? It is. So we have the Chum branch in there. So let's gather up here. Should be able to take the Shai Halud Express there. Yeah, we can. Great. And let's Shai Halud it, baby. All right. So we got 200 votes, which is kind of cool. Oh, we definitely don't want this. That's really bad for us. If that passes, it's terrible. We have 200 votes. Yeah, we we're kind of in the ballpark. All right. So we're going to deny this with like 150 votes. So we, we do not want that. We can even go all in on denying that because that would just tank our economy into the pits of hell. All right. So let's gather up, team. And we're going to Shai Halud over here, and then we're going to use the um, ambush ability. 
So that's going to give us the bonus, the insurance banks. All right, I like that. Did it go off? Okay, statecraft and economic are slowed, which just means, okay, we're in military anyway, so it's fine. Um, and we can do military propaganda. All right, Listening. gather up. All aboard the Shai Halud Express. And uh, let's get here and go ahead and go like right there. That's going to be fine. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot. I'm missing the resources. We could just break the non-aggression pact, which I think is what we're going to do. Because at this point, we're kind of committed anyways. All right. Let's do that. And we're going to pile in. The Fremen care not for your goodies. And uh, we didn't get a chance to really do the ambush thing, but we'll try it. Yeah. So we're clearing these militia out really quickly here, which is excellent. I think even with that, we could probably beat him. I mean, we beat up his military ba so badly earlier. So we'll take this and we're going to liberate it. And then that means we can use the spice field for ourselves. So we'll liberate this and we're going to do this and this and this. Yeah, I forgot that the non-aggression thing had gone through. Worst case, though, we're doing some good damage. And we have, yeah, there's no way he can fight us. We did some. We took two territories of his earlier. This is just brutal. So we take all these bases down. That's going to give us a little bit of dough as well. We have the trader buff, but who cares, right? Like, whatever. I love that I'm just able to ignore that. It's very, very fun. All right, so we get that. And we need to get the Al Ghaib Temple, which is going to increase our maximum. Um, but we're so, kind of poor right now. Kind of poor. And, um, yeah, he's gathering up here. So he can actually try and fight me. That would be kind of wild if he did. Do a supply drop here to make sure our units are fresh. Um, we got plenty of spice, so let's go ahead and sell more to try and maintain our economy. I'd be really shocked if he tries to fight me. I feel like that's going to go really badly for him. Arrakis is our home. <laughs> just the trader buffs. I'm just going hog wild with that, you know. Um, okay, we never got that region all pimped out. So this one is what? Intel per state calf building? Let's get that. And then we need to get a maintenance center up there too. As we continue expanding. New chome shares, huh? That's fun. All right. Um, could I take his army here? Probably, yeah. So let's go. Is Shawnee's ambush off cooldown? It is. Okay, so what we're going to do is allied units gain stealth. So we're stealth. Oh, how cool is this? This is so freaking cool. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and use Shawnee's ambush now. Ambush! Oh, the ambush is on, and now we're hunting the Atreides. Oh, yeah, this is metal as hell, dude. All right, let's do this. Do scavenger teams. Jesus Christ, the Fremen militaries are pretty bonkers early, right? So we're going to focus... <laughs> Jesus that's a massacre dear god oh my god oh my god we're just running these guys over all right let's get on there we got you let's get you here and um one of our agents did get captured but we're gonna go ahead and liberate this base now too and just kind of send him back to the stone age he did retake that base up there all right the ambush thing was pretty cool there i like that that was that was a nice little synergy hopefully we don't run out of water here um this base is soon going to be liberated and oh is that still being occupied Oh, so your little raiding party that you bring with you can also handle the that. That's really good. Okay, so we got that. Raiding party's coming. I'm just going to go on a, a full liberation party with this gentleman here. Oh, my God. And we get another one? The cascading effect of that is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. Okay, so from here, let's go ahead and... Um, we don't have enough to make that. The al Ghaib Temple yet. Okay, so we could just let our homies do this. But let's, in case we lose it, let's just go ahead and destroy everything first. Let's get another harvester. Send it down this way. Um... And yeah, it's been pretty peaceful so far. It's been pretty peaceful. And here in this, we could build the training slots. Units regenerate health 30% faster. Why not? Let's just get all these geared out. And okay, so that's good. And we're going to go liberate this one, which I think will bring us another wave of reinforcements, which is pretty savage. So our supply drop here, do this. And we could do the stealth thing for the ambush. That is that is an incredibly fun play style. Yep, that one's fine. Do we have friendships? Uh, form an alliance? Okay, we already have that. Okay. No, where's... He? Oh, unfortunately, the rally point was over there. That's that's too bad. All right. Well, it is what it is. Yeah, we're going to have to build another one of those. He's probably not going to make it. Oh, maybe he'll make it. Okay. We need to heal up our army. We're pretty beat up at this point. I think we can continue on, though. Shawnee's a little bit damaged, so maybe we got to be careful. Um, but yeah, that's two territories taken, and then we can just go back and, and chill after this. Okay, so let's go here, 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 and here. And this siege is uh, our buddy now. So we get all allied village productions increased by 10%. Okay. We haven't really built anything there yet. But the Al-Ghaib Temple, that's right. That's what I wanted to kind of focus on here. So I believe this is an intel siege here. So yeah, that's knowledge and hedge. We gain, yeah, intelligence agency. Each allied siege grants max influence, which is kind of cute. Influence production, the embassy as well. Okay. We're saving the research center one for later. Um, I think I'm just going to go for a hedge victory, by the way. I think that's going to be the play. 
So that's going to be liberated in just a second. And the Atreides, then we just steamroll them in the north, and they're basically out of spice, right? Which is incredibly powerful. All right, let's get the free tech here. Take the money. Do that. And do, what did I want to build there? I wasn't sure. Yeah, we have two Intel ones. We have one right here, and I believe this one is also an Intel one. Hmm. Each allied siege. We're saving that. We could get the intelligence agency, but I don't know. Do we really need more agents? I guess. We must go now. So we could you get a hidden thumper to teleport away. I think in general we should have that. But my army's pretty beat up now, so I want to um, make sure I don't lose more. So we got military propaganda. Sky gazing is good, but we don't have any air units to deal with yet. Um, okay, so which one? Yeah, Spying Mastery could be pretty good for us, but Desert Wisdom, and then we can go Spying Mastery to get the agents. And cool. So he's he's coming back. I don't know if he wants to fight, but my army's a lot stronger. I'm fairly certain it is. Uh, are we going to lose anybody here? I don't think so. I think everybody's going to make it back. Even these warriors are like legendary status, which is pretty cool. They're going to make it back to the territory, no problem. We heal up, and then we worm right in and just hit him again. And from here, um, I'm okay to just spam warriors and skirmishers because the Fidekin upkeep is just nuts. So I think we're going to just spam the cheapo units. And let's get that. So we got this all set up. Let's go ahead and get a spice harvester. And um, how are we doing on the air parts? Okay, we're still a ways off until we get that. Um, we could get out here. Yeah, we probably a maintenance center would be a fine start. I think our militia should be able to defend that. I love the hidden tracking thing. That's really fun. How you could pop in and do that. All right, so let's get the free tech. Uh, Trader's going to be worn off soon. We do not care about Lady Jessica, that's for damn sure. And, uh, oh yeah, we should probably stockpile a little bit. We might miss our taxes. We don't want that. It gives us a lot of authority. So we have, what, 100 votes right now? Nothing too crazy. Yeah, all factions gain, whatever. Nothing here really matters. Carino changed that to be on everybody, so we're just going to hang tight there. And let's get you all geared out. And, um, yeah, we, we're currently on five spice fields, guys. We're on five spice fields. And we got most of those buildings that we need. How's this looking? And I love that I could just like pop out with armies. I'm saving my votes. Okay, so this is for military. This is for eco. Um, and then we have, how many of the statecraft ones do we have? We got one statecraft, two statecraft, and then I think this one's also statecraft. Okay, so we can build three statecraft buildings. So let's just get the intelligence agency then. And um, we're also gonna go ahead and get the Al Ghaib temple. Yeah, cool. And we'll save the last one for the knowledge and hedge. So there's a trick with the Knowledge and Hedge where you can build it and it retroactively gives you it for all of your territories, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but that's how you ambush people with big hedge jumps in the fourth quarter. Oh, my Siege was raiding him. Oh, is he actually trying to take the Siege down? If he does do that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and attack him if I see him going for the Siege here. All right. Oh, oh, don't do it. Don't do it, buddy. He wants it. All right, so we'll get the Rally Point set up here. Um, I think we can go ahead and place the thumper, like so. He's fleeing the scene. Okay, so let's get you guys to pop out over there. Warriors and skirmishers. And when they're ready, um, we can go ahead and place a thumper now. We're going to pop over here, right on top of his old army. I think he's going to try and get the siege, I'm not sure. But we're, regardless, we're going to catch him here, and he's going to get caught in a pretty funny way. All right, so yeah. Oh, look at the Fremen swarm. That's so cool. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, we didn't get the ambush thing off properly. Got to, got to get better at that. But yeah, he's gonna lose a lot of units here, and he's out of his territory, losing supplies. All right. So this is gonna be a pretty big bully beat down here. I think he's gonna lose mostly everything, and he'll kill a couple skirmishers. Um, but that's basically it. Yeah, and then we just, we just wipe everything else out. And we get the reinforcements coming in, who are gonna start in the village. Oh, that's so good. All right. So let's get you guys do this. Keep working on these troopers. They're certainly very tanky, but um, we're able to get them. And yeah, he's going to run out of supplies here. We're working on the village. Let's get this, this. Just do a little bit of focus fire. And you guys focus here. Looking good. He does have the Atreides Militia upgrade. Let's do the supply drop here. And we can do the stealth thing and then pop the Shawnee ambush. Oh, okay. I did that a little bit off. It's okay. All right. So yeah, this is good. I mean, this is nasty damage. We can take this base once the pillage effect wears off. And we're going to continue beating down the Atreides here. Yeah, the military base here we don't need anymore, so let's switch that into something else. Um, we can just get a knowledge building, because I believe we have the maintenance down there. Yeah, we do. Arrakis is our home. Arrakis is our home. Let's get some more warriors. Yeah, I just the warriors just seem solid, honestly. 
Okay. Shai Hulud shouldn't, shouldn't eat its chosen, but, you know, he's, he's a little bit indiscriminate when it comes to munching on people. All right. Shawnee's been good. Uh, she does seems to do good damage, you know, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and liberate that. Now we're going to get a little friendly raid here, which is going to help us hold this. And we destroy all the buildings. And if we didn't take so much damage in that fight, I would carry on. I would continue pushing. But um, all right. So we got the maintenance center there. We could take the spice field next. Uh, this is what? Statecraft building production. All right. So let's get a little bit of that. We could get the knowledge center, but I kind of like the money that I'm getting at the moment. All right. So it's going to take a while to liberate that. But when we do, I mean, man, he must be hurting pretty bad. Must be hurting pretty damn bad. And we got more warriors popping up. I could probably honestly keep pushing. I mean, most of my army is more or less expendable. You will have it. We got the missile turret here. And that's going to be a little bit more authority for us. Uh, how soon until this one's free? This is going to be 38 days. Yeah, the pillaging penalty is, is very, very long indeed. Ready for patrol. And he could try and Lady Jessica us, but I think he's learned that I don't really care about the Lady Jessica. Um, all right. So we need to start trolling on the Harks, I think. Because otherwise I'm going to have to race his chome. Uh, is he coming to fight me? That would not end well for him. I got a huge army up here. Okay, so let's do the Shawnee ambush. That's going to make all my um, Grenadier guys do more damage. And then we just ambush in. Oh, look how quick that guy's going to get melted. He should, at least with all the demo guys. He's trying to fight it. Yeah, he's going strong. We've kind of, I think, like tamed him to the point where it wouldn't be a threat to us anymore. But we need to keep expanding. Um... So stealth gear and spying mastery is pretty good. And then we need to get the um, the trinket stuff. Yeah, we need to get that. Okay, 4,000 Gs. Baron, Shome is nuts. How rich is the Baron, by the way? 9.3K. I'm going to offer this guy peace after this, I think. I think, I don't know if he'll take it. Honestly, we could just pay the premium for this. <laughs> Even though it's like more expensive. Although we'd probably get the middle and get the renegade base. Uh, we could take the bottom. Chilling here. I think we still have our raiders nearby, so we could probably honestly go heal with our army. I'm going to hit the chonker. I think I'm going to go bounce over there and see what kind of damage I can do as well. Um, and he, yeah, the Baron needs to be kept in check. He's getting a little bit too strong. Okay, so if we have one building of each type here, so we need to get this. Um, we could get the Shaihalu Temple. It's pretty good. That one gives us maximum thumpers and whatnot, which is, I think, uh, very, very good. So we got that. Um, as far as everything else goes, let's go get this renegade base here in the middle. That's going to give us 50 authority, which we definitely need to spend on something. A recruitment office hedge isn't that useful. Um, we got the desolation up there, which makes it very, very hard to attack us from the north. Atreides are basically out of the game. I mean, they can still backstab and do some respectable damage, but yeah, we got time. We're going to go get the renegade base here to get the ship parts. And um, then we should be good to attack the Harkonnens. We could even get some Fidekin mixed in now, I think. Okay, let's see this. Hopefully Shawnee doesn't die here. We have the supply drop. Yeah, see the AoE damage we have from our Grenadiers? God damn, those things do work. Yeah, the Skirmishers seem pretty good. All right, saw you down in melee too. Yeah, this Fremen, this Fremen low tier army, like just mainly chaff, seems pretty cost effective, honestly. So we've gotten a couple of those. Um, do I want to seek peace with him now? I could take the... Ooh, the White Rift is down there. That's like a huge win con for me. Maybe I need to go grab that. So can I get the White Rift? I can. Okay. So we need to go get that, I think. It's either that or I go in on the, the Chonk. You know, he's at 30% Chum, though. And Harkonnen armies are not, not a joke. They're pretty good. All right. So we have 116. So let's stop stop trading Plaskrete now. Uh, let's do this. And um, we can get a little bit of knowledge here. Good. And then we can build our mothership now, our altar. All right, so the altar is getting built. And let's take the middle, actually, although it has been pillaged by us recently. Yeah, so we'll just we'll just peace out. We don't need to take this. Ah, Eutrates. All right, they, they're they very persistent here. They, they sure are. So we're going to go take the White Rift and then use that as, like, a launching point. Um, do you need help with Baron? He's going to win soon with Chum. Yeah, the White Rift would be really nice to get. It'd be really, really nice to get. You don't think so? Okay. Oh. All factions suffer portfolio scrutiny. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. 
So 20 for uh, shares are lost and they can't buy. Okay, so the Baron the Baron just got karate chopped by that a little bit. I didn't see that. Did not see that. Okay, we put all our votes into that. The Baron even voted into it to just get the money from the Solari. That's really funny. Holy shit, the Baron just got it. All right, so we need to go get the White Rift now. So we're going to go sail down there and get that. Got a couple agents. And um, yeah, let's get you here. Is there anything we can do? Space and Guild is fine. And yeah, you're going to hang out. The Siege is allied. What can we build there now? We could get the Mason's Guild. Why not? Okay. So that's all set. Uh, that Siege is good. It's kind of evaluating our Siege networks right now. I don't know why it's not letting me get away from that one. Okay, it looks fine. And this one is going to be our friend soon too. All right, so our game plan remains the same then. We Now we ignore the Baron and we just go for the, um, we go continue bullying the Atreides and we uh, we try and get their goodies. So rally points, oh dude, we can even rally units down there. That's just cause of smug bounty though. Okay. So we're gonna go over here and how far can we get? We can get like right here. And then we're gonna go down and take the White Rift. And in the meantime, we can make some warriors and we'll mix in a couple of Fidakin now too. Rally point is right there. So let's have it there. Hey, 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 hey. All right, so we got our, our army coming here. We need to get the supply drop just in case. And we can get the worm call. So we have the mothership now, the Fidakin. We need to get some cool upgrades for them. Okay, a little damage buff. And we'll do that, okay. So we're gonna take the White Rift just because it's it's too juicy not to take. And we're not even first in hedge right now, but we will have the uh, the submarine hedge, right? That's gonna happen. Spine Mastery will give us more agents. And um, then we need to go and get the valuable trinkets for the craft workshops so we can sneak up on that. That's gonna be the game plan. Okay, so we have like a brutal army. We can probably honestly just try and kill the Atreides now. Or at least put them to the point where they can't really do a whole lot. Um, up here, we can get a missile turret just to be safe on the northern border. And we got the White Rift, which is a really, really good one. And it does have scientists too, which is pretty cool. Um, but for now, let's just get a missile turret here. We can reinforce there. We have our, our siege airfields. So now we head up here and we bully this. Let's get you guys back. Shawnee can use her ambush. So now we're going to get the ambush damage. And uh, we need to get this base down. Come on, give it to us, Precious. Uh, for you, I don't. I gotta read all these upgrades. Killing enemy units at long range gives 200% uh, regenerates outside. Regenerates outside of combat. What? Shouldn't it just do that anyways? Okay. Well, that was weird. We'll we'll take a moment to read all those in a minute. I, I don't know what they do yet. So we're gonna we're gonna definitely just take this spot this spot and just keep expanding um, into the Atreides lands. Oh my God! What are these skirmishers doing? All right, let's just take this. It's a pretty nice little region. Um, we don't need any of his buildings, so we can just destroy those. And let's get the supply drop just to maximize supplies. And we can continue our uh, our, our big party here soon. Yeah, you're going to be coming. Okay, so let's see what this does. Regenerates outside of combat. Shouldn't it do that? Keeping a well-stocked reserve of scrap metal on board, speedy recovery on the go. Okay, gain 50 authority in liberating a village in the region. Okay, that's kind of nice. Allied uh, allied units at long range regain supplies outside of combat. Ground allotary units at long range get stealth. Okay, are we getting attacked anywhere? I don't think so. Um, we got to make sure. Yeah, we got to stockpile, man. Shit, we might miss this tax. We're probably going to miss it, as a matter of fact. Uh, do we have any like free spice laying around? I don't think so. Yeah, That's a shame. We screwed the pooch on that. I'm so bad at my taxes in this game. Definitely one of my biggest weaknesses as a player. I always forget it. You seeing this pathing? What the hell is this? It's like buggy. Yeah, that's like really buggy. Either that or it's like lagging. You notice my units were like scattering everywhere. It's very, very strange. All right, we're trying to hit the stockpile. I mean, we do have really good spice gathering right now, so maybe we can get it still. Um, is there any, any spice I can grab on the map? I don't think so. I don't think that's going to be the case. So we just take this region over. Um, let's get a maintenance center here because that's going to maintenance reduce these buildings. Yeah, we need to continue on the altar. Dete detection, ground military units at long range get stealth. We already kind of have that basically. Ignores damage from sandstorms. Cannot be seen outside of combat. Ship parts, regenerates authority when liberating a village. I don't hate that. That's actually probably going to be useful for like a win con later. And then we'll get the one where it regenerates outside of combat, I think. Yeah, screw it. Let's try that. That'll be fun. We get to pay our taxes. It's going to be close. I think we just barely do actually. Wow. Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> we just barely made the spice tax. 
Uh, they forced a, tree, uh, a tree, uh, truce on me, did they? We, we all know how that goes. Can I break it? Uh, can I not break this one? I can't, I can't attack it? Oh, do we have to start again? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it was weird. It wouldn't let me break it until the uh, decap had happened. That was very strange. All right, so manpower for Plaskrete we don't really care about. Up here, we can get a missile turret, I guess. Uh, water isn't going to be super useful here, although a spy silo will be useful. Yes, good. And um, yeah, looking all right. So we're recapturing that. We're going to get you over here, buddy. We do lose out on influence, which is a shame, but I think for the way we're playing for the hedge victory, it's going to be relevant. Um, we could get attacked here by Carino. I need to watch and see where they're going. They're coming with what appears to be a pretty big army, but going into my lands is a bit precarious. I'm trying to just do do our thing here. I think he might be thinking about coming for me. Either that or he's just going to the main base, you know? Yeah. We're not sure. We're not sure. Uh, so the Fidekin upgrades are good. We need to probably get stargazing. Yeah, valuable trinkets though is going to be really essential. And then we get sky gazing as well, because otherwise we won't have any anti-air. Um, it kind of looks like he's moving down towards me. Now he's going back to his main base. Okay, that's why I'm kind of expanding away from him into the into the ruins of this uh, this empire here. All right, so let's get a listening post for the authority here from the White Rift. Um, you could try and I, I'm pretty sure you can spam Lady Jessica. So I think if he wants to, you could just kind of spam that all day. I am pretty sure he can. We're still waiting to get this back. And um, all right, so I the council is up. Who's going to win this? Harks and these guys are just duking over that. I'm not eligible for anything except governor anyway. So uh, yeah, we don't really care about anything here. So we're just going to let that pass. And I believe we have almost all the sieges in Alliance. And yeah, now we do. All right. So this one's going to give us what? Proactive treaty? Nah, it's kind of cute. Kind of cute. So we're definitely going to go for a hedge win. It's got to be the way. We have how many special regions? One, two, three, and then four. So we're going to have four workshops, which is pretty good. Uh, there's nothing I really want to vote for here. I don't really care. Could even vote a trade for either council, right? That's kind of a funny idea. But we still have what? Plus, plus six, even with the trader on us? The minus five? That's pretty nice. Um, the chome, the chome slowdown on the Baron was pretty big. If that hadn't happened, we, I would have had to have turned on the Baron and go after him. It would have changed our entire strategy. Um, we'll save that. I don't know if that's even necessary at this point. And, um, cool. So spice is going. We got a spice silo here. So we have one right here. Not at this point, but we do need the knowledge. I don't want to cut that knowledge building. This guy's going to jump back on this spice field. And uh, definitely a military base here would be really good just for helping us kind of saturate into those lands. We're going to do a big, big, like, punishing uh, crusade here. <laughs> yeah, on the, uh, I suppose in the Fremen would be Jihad, but we're going to do that here on these guys in a second. All right, so let's get these. And um, do we have a maintenance center here? We do. So this can just be a spice silo. And then we get you back onto the fields here. And let's just go lay the beat down. It's it's time for Gotham's Reckoning. We're going to go get this. Just keep expanding into his lands. We'll actually liberate it first. Arakin is there, but we need to just drown the Atreides. Yeah, they still have 3k. I don't know how they've mustered that much wealth. Just being, being in the pits like this. Okay. Will Arrakis belong to the Fremen? That's the question. I mean, up top, these guys, they're, they're, they're having a border standoff. We're going pretty balls deep into the Atreides lands. Um, we can go ahead and proc the ambush here. So I need to get all of you guys here. So let's do this. And then we can go ahead and proc the ambush, which is going to make all our units at long range. So that should count for the these guys when they're fighting. Yeah, we'll have to see how this works. All right. So here we go. It's going to melt pretty quickly, I think. We have our uh, our big blimp. It's it's pretty damn slow. I, I guess I should have gotten the speed upgrade on it, if that still exists. I don't even know. Uh, counter intel and counter intel. Oh, we don't have the third one on counter intel. Okay. We probably want to think about that at some point. So we liberate this just to bank the authority. So we're going to liberate that. And oh, we get two raids from that. Dude, that's brutal. And then we can go and liberate this base too. And we're just going to send him back to the Stone Age here. So yeah, once these rebels, that's going to be eight NPCs guarding that. And then we can just go there and get this. That's really nasty. Supply drop. And we'll keep the mothership here too. And um, yeah, now this is where it gets really ugly for them. Let's get Shawnee back. Keep the big chunk of ship right there. And we should get an extra 50 authority because of our blimp, right? Uh, do we need manpower? Next building and siege chamber is free. Okay, just in case we build something there. Could be, could be worth. 
Um, and yeah, he's coming in with some troops, but like even our little militia here should be more than apt at standing up to him. He's got double missile turrets going here, but we're going to liberate that. Oh my god, and we get even more raids. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I can see the cascading power of the Fremen. Like if you know how to play them, you really get them down to a science. And now we are going to go up here and fight his main army, because why not? You know, we're, we're doing pretty good. Uh, we're supply dropped out, looking great. And our, our armies will liberate this. Yeah, he's going to come after me now, I suspect. So we need to, we need to like, maybe start heading back to our base. We'll leave our mothership here. I think that will be enough to keep the Atreides at bay. Because I think Carino, oh, the way they're moving is kind of suspicious. I could just take a fight and rebuild at home too, right? Is he going to attack me? I don't know. Hard to tell. So this is near Arakeen. We could fight here. I think we win it. Yeah, those two regions are going to be liberated. And then the Atreides will certainly be in the pits of hell. So let's proc the militia to come out and then lure them back a little bit into the desert. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're going to do that. Pop the ambush thing. And um, then we can do supply drop here. Get another supply drop going. I'm pretty sure we just win this. I think he's trying to snipe Shawnee. It's hard to tell. All right, let's get our demo militia back. No, she's still here. His militia are really raid boss, though. They're very raid boss. All right, let's get you on the range unit and you on the range unit here. Tie those bad boys down. Shawnee's fighting pretty hard. I think we're getting it. And uh, we're going to get double liberation on him here. Uh, that was that wasn't his worm call. Okay, so we need to move closer. Ah, I just got shy haluted. Shit. Okay. So this might not go as well now. We're probably gonna lose this fight. Let's just kill what we can of his real army, and uh, let's get Shawnee out of here. See if she can go survive. Okay. So one village has been liberated. Um, the mothership is still protecting, but we're gonna see if Shawnee can get away. She's pretty quick, but I think he's gonna catch us. Um, yeah, we still got a lot of militia here. You guys can just chill out, and we can start liberating that. Which is going to send uh, allied raids, which is super good. All right, so we get the raids. Did Shawnee survive? She did. Wow, look at that. What a champ. All right, so she's going to come over here. Uh, no attacks in the north. And we do have the liberation going and also have the uh, the siege coming to help us, which is just money, money, money. All right, so let's uh, rally some reinforcements in. We can get some Fidekin and some warriors and some skirmishers. All right, so that's being taken by a renegade base. Uh, we have another agent, so let's get it on the uh, Harkonnens, because why the hell not? We might actually win this fight here, guys. We might. It's going to be dodgy. His his uh, his guys are very powerful, but if the reinforcements get here quick enough and our troops are able to stay the course and fight, maybe. Okay, space and guild bribe. Dude, we are just like totally cutting it close on our space and guild bribes. Uh, do I want to buy some chome? It's at 6,000. The Baron's at 37%. Shit. I need to start playing hedge hard. Yeah, we got to get those hedge workshops, the valuable trinkets going and everything. All right. Got chome now. Okay, so this is being liberated. He's probably not going to be able to get it. I'm going to maybe start attacking him. I, I could ask for peace from the Atreides after this, which would be pretty funny. Let's get a military base there. We got that going. Rally point. And um, yeah, I think we just get a bunch of warriors, skirmishers, all these bad boys. Okay, he's got a lot of reinforcements coming in. Yeah, we can let the Atreides keep this. All right, so let's do that, and we can offer peace to him. We're going to see if he wants it. Going at Baron in south now. <laughs> I don't blame him for not wanting that. I really don't. That's really funny, though. Okay, so we need to get the craft workshops like up ASAP and then Wonders of the Desert as well. That is very funny. I, I I don't know what I was expecting there, but... And um, let's get this and this. I don't know. If infiltrators are any good, let's throw one in there because they look cool as shit. Okay, we need to get back. We're going to lose a lot of guys to supply here. Uh, architectural surveys on Baron. Yeah, the Baron is probably really rich. Let's see. He's got 28k. Jesus. He's got 28k. We got to go now. I'm going to start buying to try and make it a little bit harder for him, you know, jack those prices up, but it's probably not going to matter too much. Uh, voting Harkonnens on main base. And uh, yeah, this damn supply drop is coming. Yeah, hopefully our guys can make it back there. Rally point. Let's rally down here. And um, yeah, I'm just going to hit all the spice fields in the bottom and start. And then um, <laughs> Atreides. This has been a good learning game, though. I've kind of... 
been able to test the limits of the Fremen and see what they're able to do. So it's pretty fun, win or lose. I'm very happy with this. But the Chonk is looking a little bit too chonky. Uh, he's at 35% right now, which is nuts. Oh, I'm going to lose a bunch of guys, aren't I? Yeah, even a Fidekin. I think they'll barely make it back. It's going to be close. Our water is, what, three right now? Ugh. Oh, that's so bad. How can I improve that? I guess we need to get water down here. Is he really going to come and attack me? The Atreides, I might just have to let them do their thing. He's coming with Gurney at this point, but he's he's going to lose this fight. I think. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so he's got his, like, couple bases here. His economy is... He's at 2.9k still. He's got one spice field, so he's got to be struggling to pay his taxes, I would imagine. Um, we bought some of that. Our eco's at 55 right now, so we need to go ahead and Shai Halud Express over to the Baron's lands. And, um, yeah, we're not at peace with the Baron, are we? No. I'm always happy to see a, a solid chomp game, you know? It's always fun. All right, so let's uh, do this. We're going to supply drop here and then get another supply drop going. He might come down to the White Rift. I mean, he very well could. You know, his army might even struggle against my Militia since I have the health bonus. But, um, all right, let's place the Thumper and we're going to go and attack his southern village here and go. Unfortunately, some damn raiders are coming also, which is very annoying. All right. Go, go, go. All right, let's take these bad boys down. Let's do the ambush on our range units. You can see we melt them very quickly. Um, I'm probably going to get my army steamrolled by the Harkonnens, I would wager. It's usually, you know, I know how the Harkonnen armies perform, so we need we need other players to do well, too. Although, I think we can't really count on the Atreides, which is 100% my fault. So we're going to get a supporting raid here from nearby sieges, right? Yeah, we have one coming here. And, um, yeah, we should be able to push those guys back. Let's get in here so we don't lose supplies. And then we just supply drop here and heal up everybody. So that's going to be one spice field. Yeah, and the north, how's this looking? Um, let's go ahead and trap the Baron right here. So his armies can't flee. I'm liberating a southern spice field. How are the, how's the chum looking? Is it 35%? Capping south. And then we can move up to the space wreck. Does he have an airfield here? Oh shit, he does. Oh shit, oh shit. That was really stupid that I didn't get that right away. Okay, so supply drop's going. I would imagine Atreides are going to just kind of chill out. I don't expect them to do much. We should be able to cap this out, though. Can I spawn anything else in the Baron's lands? I don't know if we can. Okay, so I think our raiders are here now, so we can move to the north. Let's wait for our supply drop, though, to be safe. But that is going to certainly hurt the Baron's economy. Uh, Atreides have gathered a decent force. We can go stealth, too. That's pretty rad. Trying, out, trying that out. All right, so we just have agents assigned, and the only reason we're doing that is... Man, how do we still take so much damage? I'll, I guess I'll capture the shipwreck here. Yeah, you can see the raids are going, and um, the Chonk is getting swarmed, but he's got so much money. He's got 36k, so he's just going to go for a huge dump where he can buy a bunch of chome. Yeah, he, he might be able to just push straight for the win, which is going to be very hard. Okay, supply drops have done it. Let's move north. Let's get his other spice field now. We destroyed the airfield. That's going to give us authority with which we need to capture shit. And the drops are up. So let's do this. And uh, did we get the special building here? We did not. So let's get the uh, get the research center now and get the hedge jump and see if we can like race them maybe. I don't know how that's going to go, but we'll find out. All right, Chani with the ambush. And um, let's go ahead and do the supply drop here. The dreaded three water Fremen. It's a good thing we have good supply logistics, huh? All right, so we captured one spice field in the south. So the Baron's economy is going to tank, and if he doesn't save enough, he's not going to be able to uh, get there. That's for damn sure. All right, let's do that, liberate it, and we can take down all this. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I mean, whatever. Like, what can we do about that? And the Atreides were eventually going to strike back. We got to deal with the Baron, man. You know, he's he's really the problem. Uh, are our militia holding? They're doing okay, but he's got he's got the numbers game here, so that's that's going to go fine. We could worm our way back, you know, like worm roll, but we gotta basically spend this entire army going after the, um, going after the big space chungus. What does he have here in this village? Yeah, we need to kill all these buildings. So the south has been liberated. Uh, Trades are gonna sit there for a while, so that's good. So we we know what they're up to. We know they're chilling. I'm about to get a lot of goodies here, and let's go ahead and cut this and get the uh, the hedge. So we need to start creeping on hedge, like passive hedge, right? So we can cut knowledge buildings because we're pretty well teched in. 
you know, I don't know if we need too much more in that regard. And up here, what do we want to get? Oh shit, am I losing supplies? Am I out of the raid raid range? Looks like I'm... All right, let's do that just to restock, and we can get one more. I got two spice fields. Got two spice. Gonna keep going. All right. So yeah, the tradies are. You know, I don't blame them. I would do the exact same thing. You know, it's his only way back in the game is to grab some territories. That's a smart play from him. Um. All right. Aside from this, we need to capture some territories though too, because we're sitting on 500 right now. Um, the Baron is up to 35. He's sitting on how much? 37k. And then we we decap his space wreck in the south. So he's going to be down to one spice field. It's allowing me to take ground. Yeah, which is very true. There's that, that is a very true statement. Um, manpower. We don't need manpower. We have so much. And let's go ahead and get the craft workshops. And you're going to see we're going to get a massive jump once this building finishes. It's going to be a little alarming for some of the lobby here, but I think that's okay. Acid Lakes is too dangerous. Uh, I'm I'm going to lose this army probably. It's a lot to lose. I think we go back and bully the Atreides. And we can do a thumper. And we can thump over here. All right, so you're going to hustle. We're going to go deal with the Atreides. Uh, we got extra agents. It's fine. And it looks like Carino is doing a good job in the north too. The Atreides did take some land back. We do lose our Spice Harvester, which is unfortunate. So he's going to go back to the base. Uh, Diplomatic Congress, Judge of the Council. Ooh, who's going to get that Diplomatic Congress? Who has a lot of votes? Atreides have 500. Um, definitely going to vote it on Atreides. Going to vote Atreides for Diplo. Okay. So I'm going to put that on the Atreides. That'll tank their lens red too. Yeah, so Hark can't. We got the White Rift, which is what really matters. The other territories don't matter too much. And now we have that. So we're at 18k. We have 28 passive, which is nice. We're going to grab this uh, region here too. And we can... Um, Hark has one spice now, I think. Healing, then hitting wreck. Uh, can we buy any chum? Let's buy a little bit of chum just to make it difficult, you know, possible. Oh my god, come on. That's our territory, but just being cautious. Okay, so we probably bully that army again and take that over. Um, and do we have any on counter intel? How are we looking? Wonders of the Desert is going to be very good for us. Uh, nobody's at 20k hedge yet, but soon I will be. So we need to go grab some territory. It's going to kind of put a little bit on us. Did the Harkonnens get that? How did he, did he, did he not vote? Ah, oh, he, 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 we didn't have enough votes. Okay, so that's a shame. It's okay, we go back soon. And we're taking this. Let's grab that. Continue pounding the Atreides here. Uh, we can go ahead and delete this now so that stupid notification stops bothering me. <laughs> And um, yeah, so we grab that territory, we get another one, and then we, um, that's gonna put us up over 20K, which is a little bit problematic, of course. But we do have this special region to get to, which is nice. And um, we need to fight the Atreides now. Yeah, we gotta keep their army down. I don't know how he's affording that for us. He's negative money, okay, that's good. So his upkeep is, is, is in the pit, so he's got no knowledge, like nothing. Oh, wow, that didn't put us over 20, that's really lucky. And let's get this for the military power. We got a maintenance center right here. Yeah, I'm not gonna stop. Okay, so we definitely go ambush these guys. I'm pretty sure we win this fight. He's got to be weaker than us overall. Um, 281. I do have the good passive hedge. We take the permanent money. Carino and I are chilling out. We're gonna do the Shawnee ambush. So the units here will get the ambush trait. And let's get the ambush going. All right. Pull these guys back and engage here. Looking good. And uh, we need... Oh, no, not that one. More supply drops. Oops, 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 oops. We need supply drops because our supplies suck really bad. Uh, he's running, but I can't really kill him because my supplies are so terrible. So we need to get back, actually. Yeah, because we're going to run out of supplies with only three water, which is such a joke. All right, if he's in my territory, though, we can turn and fight him. 
All right, let's get our, our, our troops healed up. That's going to be fine. And we can build some water down here, too. You gotta need it. Um, military base is quite sweet. The turret won't really make that big of a difference at this point. So we're gonna go ahead and get some H2O. Listening. And we got 20K. If we liberate some territories, that's gonna give us a nice boost. Um, can the Harks buy enough? He's at 37%. Uh, he's got 27K. I don't think he's gonna have enough. I really don't. And where's that supply drop at? Oh my God, we need it. We need some intel, man. It's so hard to get these intel, intel buildings in that. But well, the passive hedge is ticking out, man. It's going strong. And uh, we got that. Let's go ahead and get some water here. He's healing up. We're like a little rat rat in his base here. Oh, it looks like he used some missions on us too. Uh, all right. Let's get you on intel and you on intel. To get us these supply drops. H2O should be coming. All those siege alliances, they have a pretty steep upkeep for sure. I need to bully his army like one more time though. <laughs> Maybe one more time, yeah. Absolutely. We trust you, Liet. Okay, so we're at 20k. Carino is on his borders again. The Baron, we need to break the non-aggression pact with him now. Lead us to freedom. Going at Baron again. Yeah, he's at 41. Let's buy a little bit of this. It's so annoying because these guys are just going to pop up on me as soon as I leave. We can actually rally some defenders here, like a couple Fidakin. I think they'll be able to potentially help defend. The Baron's at 41%, so that needs to be dealt with. We have a good passive hedge. Uh, do we have any water? We do. It's coming. And uh, yeah, the Carino player, he's, he's been a great a great player this game. He's been a good homie. He's been, he's been consistently making the right plays. Let's keep our mothership here. That might be able to help us fight with the two Fidakin. I'm thinking maybe we can fight off his armies. Ooh, water's going to be tight here, but we're going to see if it's enough. Hopefully it is. All right, so Shawnee time, ambushing. And yeah, we clear those militia out really, really quickly, though. Like, really quickly. And uh, is he going to attack me? Find out on today's episode of Dragon Ball Z. The Harks are up north. We have a supply drop. We're going to get through his militia here in a second. So we're getting a lot of experience and uh, plenty of goodies. Okay. And we take that down. We do. And let's go ahead and liberate that. And we can go ahead and hit this, 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 and this. Got ship territory. He's, uh, I don't think he has enough to make the push. I don't think he does. So the Fidakin are nearby. Let's uh, actually get a missile turret here. And we need to get the supply drop going here to make sure the boys are like fully geared out for their next raid. Okay, that's fine. And um, how are we looking? Yeah, we need to expand. We need to get another special region. This one would be really, really good. We got, I think we can hold them off with the Fidakin there and like that kind of tattered force. Do we have any nearby sieges? We do not. That's a shame. All right, so Wonders of the Desert is done. Outpost Logistics will let us get another one on Arrakis, which is going to be nice. Um, unassigned agents, have we been captured anywhere? We have. The Harks are very suspicious. They're they're looking at that counter intel. We'll All right, so let's get the Fidakin on the range units and get the ship, and maybe we can hold that. I don't know. This is, this is troublesome. Yeah, the Trades are definitely a thorn in our sides. But yeah, the Fidakin are fighting okay, but they're probably just going to lose due to sheer numbers. Let's go ahead and pound down all the range units we can. Hopefully our mothership doesn't get killed there. Uh, the Baron needs to pay. He needs to go. So I'm going to get his last spice field. Going to hit his last spice now. Pretty good little hold, though, all things considered. You know, we still we still did okay. Yeah, our militia do have pretty jack stats. Hostile units near, yeah. Okay. How much anti-air does he have in that army? Not a whole lot, actually. We might be able to just use our mothership to sit and cackle. Uh, now we're going to move to his last spice field here. We don't have like raiders supporting us now, so we need to be more cautious. We do have 25 water, which is excellent. Let's move back to the village. Yeah, looks like he's going to maybe get my ship too. Can these guys attack air? Yeah, he still has got a couple units. So the Harks are going to lose that, and now we can move up here. I'm keeping my whole army here. Oh, 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 Chome buying price. Oh, yeah. Chome price. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, we got him out muscled for sure. Because I have, well, I don't know, he's got 434 votes. I don't think the Atreides are going to vote for that. The Atreides probably not feeling like team players right now, uh, which I don't, I don't, I don't blame him. Let's get some warriors down there. This can only get two right now. All right, so all factions gain support. Uh, yeah. If that goes off, we're probably golden. 
We're probably in good shape. Uh, rally point. Let's actually rally you guys over here, and they can probably grab this territory. Uh, then we just need to come back and deal with the Atreides after this, because the Harks are going to be pretty beat up at this point. If that passes, then he's probably done done for for a while. How are we looking? He's at 39%. Okay, he, he, he looks like he's selling Chome to try and stabilize. The Baron has 20k in the bank. And um, our mothership isn't going to make it, maybe. Now we're, we're certainly regretting not having a missile turret here now, aren't we? Yeah, mothership goes down, well played. Alright, so this region we can go attack. Uh, the Harks are fighting there, it looks like. Yeah, I don't know if we can beat that army. So let's get back. We have our two warriors here who are going to spawn and grab that. Okay. And we need to go here and then use a thumper to get back and stop the Atreides. Because I think um, that passed, right? Did it? It approved, yeah. So he's not going to be able to win on Chome right now. All right, so let's do this. Shai Hulu bless his ravaged body. And um, we're going to come right here and get that fat ambush going. And you guys, in the meantime, can grab this territory here. Yeah, hopefully the militia will hold there. We might need to call in some more units. Oh my god, one of the militia, one of them aggroed on me there. I might screw that up. Um, uh, are the warriors going to be able to win this? Let's go back and then attack that. And we're about to ambush this army. Oh, I love how they're all sitting stealth. So we can use the ambush and then pop out. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I didn't need to use the supply drops there. That's okay. The militia here are going to need a little bit of milk. But I think we butcher the Atreides army, maybe. Okay, I should probably micro this a little bit. So let's get some of these guys on range units. Uh, range units here. He's got several of those drones, but our, our DPS is pretty good. Let's just hit right in the center mass to get this splash. Shawnee has survived the entire game. And, um, man, those damn raiders are really troll, aren't they? Yeah, we're going to need to go deal with that in a minute. All right, rally point. Let's do this. And get a couple of Fidekin going there. They, they can handle that easy. Fidekin are pretty giga chad. So probably going to maybe turn on me at this point, which I got to watch out for. Let's go ahead and grab this territory. I don't think the warriors are going to live long enough, though. So that's really obnoxious. But we did stop the, uh, the trolls here from getting that. We have good passive hedge, and um, I can offer him peace now if he wants it. Let's see if he wants it, because I'd rather just go focus on grabbing territory around the map. This path is dry. We're going to see if he wants it. All right, so there's a pillage going down. It's just a pillage, not the end of the world. We're at 21k. We'll avoid the sun. And um, how are we looking here? Outpost logistics should go. Okay, he accepted We're it. Going. Yeah, he accepted it, so that's good. Atreides aren't likely to break pieces, peace and whatnot, too, so that's, that's quite good. All right. Let's do this. And we're going to get a listening post here for a little bit of influence. Okay. Um, the tax is due soon, but I think we're going to pay it. Let's make sure we stockpile a little bit more. And um, can this Fidekin... Yeah, he might need to go over here. Ah, shit, he just aggroed all this. That's annoying. All right, so we're going to go do a Shai Halud Express right here. Actually, let's just get back to our, our territory. It's fine. And uh, we need to grab some of those goodies. All right, so the pillage was canceled. That actually ended up working out for us. We're at 21k. Um, the Baron is stuck at 39, but he's sitting on how much? Seven, there's no way he's going to make money anymore, right? Like, he's got to be pretty freaking broke. Okay, so let's do this. We have a couple thumpers left. And um, let's go ahead and fly up here. Start grabbing some shit, man. Yep, regions are all looking good. We need another spec region. And then, um, yeah, the Atreides are is basically not... They're being pillaged and just having a really bad time. Oh, I always click on that one on accident. What does this even do? Defense Sabotage, Missile Church, MR? That's all right. Not very good. Not very good. Um, we could work on the Mothership again, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. I think we just grab this region. Do we have Maintenance Center here? We do. Let's get some heavies. Let's do this. And um, outpost logistics, and then we can do desert watchers and, um, and then border defenses after that. Let's grab this region. And then we get the middle, um, I think, is next. And then we just defend against everybody. The Atreides are, I think, just Palpatined. He's actually able to make some money up, um, but he might not have the influence to break that. We'll have to see. The Baron, I think, the threat of the Baron has maybe been contained for now. The amount of passive hedge we're getting is pretty good. We're going to get a big, big jump here. As long as we don't miss our taxes, which I'm very, very good at doing, uh, we should be fine. All right. We don't need so many Plascrete buildings, by the way. This is like a new, another newbie thing I do. I often like forget to replace those. So you could just like replace them with knowledge buildings or something. And then we can go get the middle, which is 207. All right. Let's get you. Do this. 
and we need to get the uh, double missile turret here. So we'll cut this, and we're going to get the missile turret like right on the border because they can overlap, which is really, really quite strong. And um, from here, do we have some authority down here? I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, we can grab that. Uh, that's going to put us up to 400. And we can see Carino coming in to try and stop us here. They might be able to. This isn't even a full army, so I suspect they're going to be able to stop us. Um, we can go ahead and do the ambush and supply drop. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to lose this fight, but we're going to try it because this is pretty big. All right, so holds, and we're chasing those guys down, getting a couple kills here and there. Let's just do this, and then we need to get some Fidekin, so we probably need to get like some pretty sauced armies. Okay, so we're trying to capture it. There's Arisham. We are melting his front line reasonably well. Let's snipe his character here and have uh, Shani go for the assassin on that. Now let's get you, and we can go ahead and get a missile turret going here too. Uh, where is our rally point? Our rally point up here is at the siege, so that's a pretty decent spot. Yeah, so we got Arisham. Oh, he got Shani too, though, when I looked away. Uh, well played. All right. So, wow, we just took on that Karina army like like absolute champs. Atreides are at peace with us. Harkonnens are probably not going to come out and help, so that's good. And we have, another, we have enough to capture even more. Uh, are there any other special regions I can get? I don't think so. I think that's basically it. So we got a turret coming. Man, the Fremen army. No joke. It really fought quite well. Uh, we did lose Shani, though, but she's going to come back. Don't worry. Don't worry, Maudib. Your, your princess will return. Uh, unassigned agents. So let's get you on Arrakis for authority. It's 163 to take this. We're going to try and work on it. Um, we got this. Let's get another missile turret here so they overlap. And um, we're just going to kind of wait to cap here. And our passive hedge is pretty damn good. As long as we pay our taxes, we're okay. And I'm banking a lot of spice right now, so I'm pretty sure we will pay our taxes. Um, White Rift down there is at the ready. And um, yeah, we got some Fidekin in the army now. Not really dealing with air units in this game. Loss of rights is really good here, if I can get that off. Let's see. Vote. Loss if... Yeah, you know, I'm just going to put this on the Harks. To, to, I'm going to try and... Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. The, the Landsrad Punisher thing is kind of helpful. It gives us some decent military. Yeah, we need to get Shawnee back. Hopefully she will return. Uh, 128. Let's see if there's any freebies. I should have been grabbed. There's so much stuff around my base I should be getting. It's just so easy when you're in the heat of the moment. Uh, all right, so we're going to try and get lots of rights to troll Carino. We'll see if it happens. I don't really care about the other spy stuff right now. Come up this way. And um, Intel. You know, harvesters are going strong. Let's get supply drops. And uh, scavenger teams is always useful. If you just got some extra intel, it ain't a bad one. Um, we're at 27k. We're going to be pretty damn close to winning here because we're going to get this territory soon. If I had liberated a little bit more, we might be able to do our thing. I could start collecting ship parts again because plastic steel is pretty much pointless for us. So I think that wouldn't be bad. Is there anything else here I can grab? I don't think so. Atreides are probably going to try and bully us down there, I would, I would guess. Get this. And then we get a military base there too. Okay, 139. This is going to put us pretty damn close to winning. We got 60 per day passive, which is uh, a lot. It, it, that's going to add up quick. Uh, we need to get military bases. Do we have any of the influence ones laying around? That's what I'm looking for right now. Doesn't look like it. Uh, looks like they're struggling after we wipe their army. The Atreides are probably pretty weak too. 3.6k, so he's back in it. The Harkonnens are at 11k, and Shom is at 38%, so they're nowhere near what they need to win. Let's get you up here, and that's going to be 163. Get that, and get that. We need to get military bases, and uh, hopefully we can do it, man. It would be nice if I was at 10% Chom for mercenaries, but we're not, so we're just going to have to deal with it. It's about as good as it's going to get, though. Uh, are we paying our taxes? Easily. We should be able to easily pay our... Because that's our, our win con, is the tax. The tax man is how we, how we do it. Uh, missile turret, and no missile turret here. Probably can just throw down this and get a turret here just to be a little bit safer. Okay. We're getting the Desert Watchers, which is going to give us some militia slots. We grab that. And we are currently working it anyways. But yeah, he's going to come back. I could go attack his army right now and try and give my whole force stealth. That would actually be a really badass play. Sadly, we don't have Shawnee at the moment, so we're not going to be able to do the big fancy schemes with the ambush. She'll be back eventually, but I don't know if it's going to be in time. All right. So military base, obviously. We could do a military factory, but I don't want to go in the red financially. Uh, Harkon the Harkonnens are probably just going to try and let the other factions deal with me, is what I suspect. Okay, 28k. 
Let's get militia here and let's get another turret right on the edge so it can support the other base. We'll we're going to go stealth here. So our whole army is stealth right now. And we're going to creep up on him and see if we can just dunk on his whole army. That's going to be so powerful. Does he have a missile turret here? He does not. Okay. So he's going for hedge also. This could be a speed of slaughter. Oh, he doesn't see us. Oh, this is so good. Oh, ambush! Ambush! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, I love that. The flavor of that is just so righteous. Alright, so we keep bashing those guys down. We basically wipe his army out. Dude, the Fremen ambush in the face. And it looks like he got shy looted. Yeah, it's just like the movies. <laughs> Great. All right, so that's under control. Uh, the Baron is trying to... Oh, the Baron's trying to decap me bot. So perfect timing, actually. I could just leave. Now that he's been dealt with, um, I just need to go stop the chunk. Okay, he's got the liberation going here. Okay. So taxes will be a little bit of money, but probably not enough. So let's head down here. And Shawnee is back. Perfect timing. So we can we can shy Hulud down there. <laughs> no, We don't want to attack our own siege. Preferably not. Let's see what the uh, rally looks like. How far can we go? We can go pretty far. We can get like right up here. Oh, that's really good, actually. That's really quite good. All right, so let's gather up, and we can do the rally point right here for some Fidekin. No! What is with this pathing? Oh, It's clearly something I'm doing wrong, but it's just very troll. All right, so let's go right here. Yeah, perfect. So that's going to get us pretty close to where we want to go. In the middle, how are we looking? Yeah, the missile turret and the troopers might be able to hold. We'll see. That second turret is there, too. So if we can get the Harkonnens off this, I think we just win. So let's get them down here and go after you. I don't know why. the Are the Atreides? Did they break their peace with us? They did. All right. So we're going to decap this. And um, and then we're going to have the rally point. The middle is going to... Um, yeah, we're going to have the Fidekins arriving soon. And now we can go and go ahead and use our stealth, our ambush. And we're going to just crush this Harkonnen army. It's going to be brutal. <laughs> brutal! Combo breaker. All right. So yeah, he uses the party drugs. And um, we just need to get militia back here. And yeah, that's that's Masker. All right. And in the middle, is he going to get it? Yeah, it looks like he will. We do have the turret shooting him, though, which is perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. And militia are on the way back. We have the Fidekin there. So let's get a rally point back to the middle area and get some uh, troopers there. We can actually get infiltrators to try and cheese down units and some skirmishers as well. Perfect timing that the Atreides are coming right now. Um, I do need to get the decap on those guys, though. The Atreides army looks pretty small. So what we could do is we could have these guys rally here. Let's heal up a little bit. Let's get you guys all built back in. And then we need to find a way to get back to the middle. That missile turret placement is clutch, though. That's doing great work for us. It's doing really, really good work. All right, so let's uh, shy Hulud out of here. We only have one worm left, though, which is rough. So, you know, what you see is what you got. But you guys are going to help against the Atreides. Um, let's go ahead and pop down right here. And we can go ahead and get a thumper. Cannot be used while in... Okay, I don't know what's going on there, but we're going to go ahead and just do a supply drop here. Run out into the desert, and um, here we go. Yes, Thumper. Cannot be used while in combat, so the missile turrets are kind of screwing us up. Okay, that's what it is. Doing a little bit of sand walking here. Cannot be... Okay, now I can place the Thumper, right? There we go. Okay. So we're flying up there. The Atreides are coming, but we're going to go ahead and ambush them. Some of these supporting units. We got four militia here. I think it's it's maybe GG. Maybe GG. Yeah, buddy, let's go. Rackus belongs to the Fremen. Yeah. Oh, that was such a fun playstyle. I love it. The aggression, the ambushes, the uh, stealth mechanics. Like, they have so much cool stuff that you can do. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. I had an absolute blast with that. But hopefully you also learned a little bit about how Fremen work, because, you know, I think just trial by fire, that's how we that's how we like to figure it out here. But um you know, honestly, there was some luck in that. The fact that we got two really good anti-chome things was big. Although we might have been able to stop the Baron even without those. Um, 2v1-ing him continuously, right? But yeah, keeping the Atreides in check was good. Um, that allowed us to just basically farm uh, authority from the uh, influences, uh, from the liberations down there. Yeah, really cool how you can like plan your early attacks with sieges. You're like, okay, I have a neighbor. There's a siege here. I'm going to rush the stalwart alliance and i'm gonna go get his territory that's like a, a really really nice energy anyways ladies and gentlemen hopefully you enjoyed this one we'll see you on the other side and arrakis belongs to the fremen yes yes